Okay, this is N2LEM with another quick video clip. Here is on the bench is the OM powered uh, OM2000 plus. Uh, pick this up as a tech special. Um, in, uh, took apart the, uh, removed the screen board from the bottom, rebuilt the screen board, replaced the MOSFETs on the screen board, um, picked up a used F728 tube for testing purposes, uh, installed the high voltage uh, toroidal transformer, um, checked the diodes on the screen board, basically put it back together. Um, and we are going to, I also, this was completely dismantled, this entire unit. I, um, removed the logic control unit, uh, thinking that there was an issue with it, put it back in, cleaned all the buttons, and we're going to do a power-up cycle to test for any, uh, high-voltage shorts, uh, to see if we can get through the warm-up stage process and then get to the um, to the standby light after the warm-up process. Um, it takes about, uh, I don't know, three or four minutes. So we're going to go ahead and power it up, and we'll put it into uh, turn on the PA, and we'll check for any um, shorts as we uh, power it up. So let's go ahead and do that. I have it plugged into the uh, 240 volt mains. I believe my wall current is about 243. The um, power supply, the switch on board is set for 240 volts. So let's go ahead and switch it on. Okay. OM power amplifier, OM2000 plus, press on to switch on PA. We'll press this on and hold it for one second. Okay, so the blower is on. So far, so good. We're in the warm-up stage. Let me show you the amplifier. Main blower is on. Okay. Just finished putting the knobs back on. Um, pretty easy modular unit to work on. Uh, troubleshooting. Um, I was told that there was an issue with the processor board, which is really the logic unit, but as you could see, the display looks perfect. And it's going into the warm-up, it's in the middle of the warm-up procedure, no shorts, no smoke. Um, see what the high voltage is once it counts down. See the man switch. Pretty robust. Let me show you the, the tune and plate tanks or Pretty much basic style doorknob caps. And like I said, this is a used tube. It'll be replaced with a new tube. When, you know, once we continue troubleshooting. But as it stands right now, um, nothing really shorted. No pop fuses at least that we know of. Blower seems like it's working fine. It's, it's uh, pretty quiet. I'm sure when we have the cover on, it'll even be more quiet. I'll come around here, I'll show you the switch unit. And then the power supply unit. So the toroidal transformer is mounted on a bracket 
with a nut and bolt that goes through it. The bracket uh, has four self-tapping threaded sockets and then you use uh, four um, screws from the bottom with washers that screw right into it to hold it in place. And we got 30 seconds left. Okay, so let's see if we get any faults when it kicks on or if it goes to standby. Which should, if it does go to standby, then we should hopefully be at the next stage. The lights are on on the meter. I have a light shooting right over it, but here we go. And there we go. So we're at 2.89 kilovolts. Very good. Okay. Hmm. And I guess if we go to operate. So for version 1.4 Okay. All right. So, well, so far, so good. Guess next we'll have to check to see if we have screen voltage, but no shorts. Okay. This is N2LEN saying best seven threes on the OM Power OM2000 Plus Repair, best 7.3.